3D scanner. This is the Next Engine Desktop 3D Scanner. Now, why would you want to scan a 3D object? Well, here's the thing, is that to, to model something like this in all the detail that you'd need is probably at least two days, they if used not to a week do, of work. They would touch it with a pen, like a light pen. And, and we've, had, we've had big laser scanners for a decade, and the, okay. but they were half a million dollars. Oh, wow. You know, or they were 15000 or $20,000, right. and now this one is... Twenty five hundred bucks. Okay. And the other thing is, is that you almost had to, you know, it was like Rain Man to, to get it to work. <laughs> you know, you know it was like this, there was no, you know, it was just like this. Uh, you, know, you, you kind of pulled the scan out of it. Right. You know, wrestled it out. Um, and now, uh, you know, I just started testing this a couple weeks ago, and it is it is so easy to use. Um, so this is part of it. You'd yeah. Put, so you can only put an object that'll fit on here. Up to about thirteen inches and about uh, eleven inches. But you could take an action figure or a variety of different things. This is a little bust, a little clay uh, this, bust. This is actually, yeah, this was stone. This is a Shona Stone. sculpture, but I, but I uh, painted it. I painted it great. It doesn't like dark and it doesn't like shiny. So neutral would be best. Yeah. So neutral or even white. They say. Does it, I, I does have it great do color paint. scanning or is it? It will take the color. Okay. So it'll it'll actually. It's first thing that it does. These big lights are actually not for the laser scan. They're okay. actually for just uh, getting the texture. Okay. So it will grab the texture. So does now. it go all the way around and grab the texture? Yeah. And then go, do, well, let's see it. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll rotate wait. it just so you see what happens. It's, okay. If it, this is what it's gonna do. So it'll do it automatically for me. I'm doing mm -hmm. it manually at the moment, and we mm -hmm. won't have time in this episode to... How long would it take to scan this little bus? It takes about 15 minutes. Okay. So it'll take about 15 minutes, and what it'll do is, so if we, you can see it over here, and if I hit, uh, go ahead and start it, what it's going to do is you'll see it, it's now, you know, setting up um, to scan. Now what it's going to do is it's going to first take a, a texture, so that's what these lights so are on So it's right almost now. like trying to get the, 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 the color of it, the, the feeling of it, exactly. and then it's got to find out the oh, now here's the lasers coming. So on. here's the lasers. So now what they're doing, and your hand might You're, end up you, in the You want to get now. this shot? Thank you. There you go. So the uh, so, so my the, hand would actually be in the scan if you if I kept it there. Yeah, yeah. So these lasers are. Um, what are they doing? They are actually scanning to see the distance that he is from the lasers. So they're calculating how far away he is. So they're making, I mean, down to the micron or down to like five thousand. I don't, I don't know if you the, can really see the laser, but they're they're. They're right see, there, yeah. Yeah. So they're going, yeah, going. There you go. Now as he's face. turning, you can see a little bit better. Yeah. Look at that. And wow. so, so what they're doing is they're. So it's on bouncing it. back into. It's that. bouncing back in, just as a regular scanner would work. It's bouncing back into the. Right. Oh, that's cool. So it's it's getting that information now. Now here's what it generated. Now you did this before. Of course. I did this before. While this we were at lunch, you said nobody can come into the studio. I am scanning. <laughs> so here you can see what these are. Is these are different. Um, Slices. So this is what on each one you could you could uh, you could see. Why does it do slices instead of just the whole thing? Well, because it can only see from one direction. Wherever the it, you know this is three dimensions. Oh, so it's not rotating it and it, scanning it. It scans it, rotates it, scans another I slice. See. So it I grabs see. all those slices now, and once, then it'll assemble them. So once it's assembled, let's see if I can uh, pop up here. Once it's assembled, you see something that looks like this. Oh, there you go. And it, it, uh, it cut the top part, but that's easy. We can cut that yeah, off. Yeah, there's, there's actually there's a ton of tools that are built in that, are, that allow it to. And all we had to do that's is neat. identify. We had, that's I, kind I, of amazing. It's, it is, it's really amazing. I mean, now, is, is this a vertex? Is it yeah, the, these, are, these are polygons and vertices. Now, there's, there's, a, there's a pro set of software that will actually convert it to super high quality, what we call spline models. Um, but this is, uh, but these are polygons. But all the information's in there now. It's all there. Now, what we did, uh, what I did with this one is there's a couple things you have to do, which I'm not going to do right here, which is you lay them down on his head and you scan the top. And you lay it down on the bottom and you scan the bottom. So that you can then replace the missing pieces. All the missing, because it'll be missing a little, and it takes nothing, because once you've calibrated it once, as long as these pieces don't move, it'll okay. automatically know where it, where it belongs. Oh, I see. You just identify three individual points that are on both models and it'll go. Right. It'll oh, just pop right in. Okay, cool. So now let me show you. Let me turn this. We're going to switch over to the uh, laptop here. So that's that was in the. And this is a Windows or Mac program. It's a Windows application only Windows right only. now. Okay. Um, I have to say that the software. I just have to give them props because software in high end tools like this, or have typically been really hard to use. Mm -hmm. And the software is super easy. Yeah, we're like looking now at the Mac version, but before we were talking about the Windows right. version. So you've imported this now into what? Is this that is Moto. Oh, Mo what is Moto? Moto is a 3D package um, that we that. use for Look modeling. At the detail on that. Yeah, and you can Did see you that. Did you put the highlights, uh, the, the light on that, or? There's a light in Moto that, that's doing that. So that's where we're getting the shot. But you're seeing the... that there's really there's Look the geometry. At the detail. Wow. And this is this is only this is one eighth the geometry that the, that it can do. It's just that it would get really that's heavy. That's the lower resolution. This scan. is a low resolution scan. Wow. And uh, and so this is what you end up with, and you can see that once I scan the top, 
It looks just just blends Explain right in. Explain why I'd want to do this. Okay, so there's a, this is actually something we used we use in production a lot, which is that if you, you want to get a Tie Fighter yeah. in a Star Wars movie, because you, you, you work take at, a model, you yeah. scan it in, right, and then it's a part of your well, movie. Well, you don't use that model, but you use it as what we would call a 3D template. Okay. So we can draw using it as the model. I we can see. snap. So we it's can a draw, starting point. It's a starting point. Way better than photos, right. you know, because it really gives us something we can work with to make sure it's really, really accurate. Right. The other reason you might use it, if it's off in the distance, yeah, we'll never model that. We'll just right. scan it, throw it back there. Right. Um, if you are doing, uh, in, but if in you want a camera effects, to move around something, it has to be three dimensional, or there's no back. What to I'm it. saying is, we, if, 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 if it's going to be off in the distance, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and if it's it, close up, that's when you need to use three. Well, even if it's off in the distance and you're going to go around it, oh, maybe you scan right. a little, sure. little bit. Now, another reason that you might uh, might use it is for or quick educational things. So for some of our podcasting, uh -huh. we're actually like if we're talking about a, a piece of equipment. Oh yeah, we just throw it. Right it like, throw a camera in there. Throw fifteen whatever we minutes. Want. What the heck? Fifteen minutes. Now you have a little model. You can have it spin around and oh, show how. Oh my golly, this is going to change everything. At twenty five hundred bucks, it changes everything. Wow. You know, because it's just really, really easy. I'll show you this. Uh, and that comes with the software, the Windows program. Um, the, uh, the the software that does the scanning comes with the scanner, mm -hmm. and it works great. You know, it, it works out well. This, and by then the way, you'll want to get Moto or something else. Moto or Cinema 48. So now this is an example of what somebody's <laughs> done with this head. Yeah, so I sent this to a friend of mine, Stu Mashowitz, who's the uh, chief technical officer of the orphanage. Uh, we were we passed the stuff back and forth, so I sent him the head just to show him what I was scanning. <laughs> then he threw it into this uh, into this uh, little uh, mountain range. That's so cool. And this is done in what's called View Six, which is a it's a thing that just does. Uh, it just does uh, environments. Well, here's so. another reason why you might want 3D. This is a 2D image, but you've got different perspectives of view. A different of the lighting. Same thing, yeah. You know, so it picks up all the lighting that was in, yeah. the, in the scene. You know, all of those Very things cool. are, are kind of built in. So it's a, it's, it's really, really a fun tool. 2,500 bucks. It's not for everybody, but uh, I'm sure that'll come down to next engine, the desktop 3D scanner. Yeah. Uh, another piece to the toolkit of the professional movie magician. If you would like to be a movie magician, PixelCore.com is the place to go. You can learn all this stuff and then. Get work doing. Alex Lindsay is the chief head.